Hello guys, so we are going to have our tour aboard with the largest and newest vessel of the PCG, the BRP Teresa Magbanwa. Namely the Sirkorsky, Agustales, Dan, the Bell, and the Airbus. The Airbus is the helicopter that is being used by the Atlantic Coast Guard right now. The yeah. Airbus, we can accommodate two at the same time, provided that the is a small sound, but not air free, not a cold view, no terminal regulation. Dito. Dito sa lang. And one of the capabilities of the Atlantic is that we can conduct helicopter refueling operation or we can conduct refueling ng helicopter or we can uh, have at least 7,000 liters of a big gas so we have a tank specifically for the uh, helicopter refueling ah, uh, so whenever we are on mission and then the helicopter needs to refuel uh, in the middle of the ocean yeah. we can do that That we are the first government vessel to have the helicopter retrieval system. So the helicopter retrieval system basically is the uh, uh, mechanically operated na pag retrieve ng helicopter natin from the hangar going inside, from the helideck going inside the hangar. Because compared with the conventional type before, where you need to push and pull by means of manual or um, human power, now we are using mechanical. Basically, the same principle. Once the helicopter dash, uh, this uh, helicopter system or helicopter oh, will, uh, will pay out, and then we provide it that to the tow bar. Then the tow bar will be then installed to the helicopter, and it will retrieve mechanically the helicopter going inside the hangar. So first, prior prior sending in the helicopter inside this uh, hangar. We usually need to wash it off with the. Uh, we need to wash the helicopter. So, to remove the salt deposit. So, when So, 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 Water. So, 1,000 of fresh water and we'll 1,000 liters of fresh water. Equally, I'm capable of using this one when helicopter washing. So, once it's inside this hangar, one of the safety features of this hangar is that we have uh, multiple installed sensors uh, throughout the hangar so easily. We can uh, detect any fire. Oh, yeah, even the uh, we are we have designated smoking area. Uh, yes. So next, what we have here is our various equipment that we use for various operations for the vessel. So first off, what we have here is the uh, firefighting equipment that we use on board to so to combat the fire. Specifically on board the vessel, but at the same time, we need to assist other vessels. Here's the uh, fire suit, and then the self-contained breathing apparatus, or what we call the scaba. So in complement with those uh, equipment. So in complement with those equipment, what we have here is the fire apps, both water, and the lifeline or the secondary means of communication in case we need to go in a confined space. Uh, what we have here is the remote operated uh, vehicle operator panel. However, yung ROV is under maintenance. We, uh, we kept it uh, in our diving locker. However, this is the ROV panel. So this equipment, usually it's we are doing for search and rescue and then maritime security. So yung ROV po, if you have seen yung, ano, yung mga drone, mga ganun, oh. na, those are these, uh, pero underwater siya. Oh, yes, we have a robot, a, like a robot. Robot na siya actually, it's a robot. 
So, equip siya ng 7.5mm high definition camera. The sonar and then yung oh. manipulator. However, yun, however, ano kasi siya mag... Uh, we are conducting maintenance. Looking maintenance as well. We are the first food guard vessel to have that one. And then the second one is the... that you fall off in the water it has a positive buoyant buoyancy so you will float and then plus the uh, equivalent class niya, compared with its equivalent class it is, it is much way lighter or it is also uh, ceramic type of it well some did this it's a level 4 so it can be studied 7.62 millimeter round uh, uh, more firearms that we have right now was provided to the Israel weapon industries. So they are, they are the ones who manufacture this weapon. The one is uh, this is a cool pop type uh, battle ship gun. This is a 9mm ammunition that is equipped with a red dot sight. Then uh, it has also a war grip. But then what is nice about this equipment is that it is something that's close. So in case that I need to switch on to a uh, left handed, so for my uh, perspective, I'm a left handed person. So I can retrofit it so the charging handle will be on the right side and then the injection port will be on the left side so it will be more convenient for your left hand. Next one we have your tower Galil Ace um, rifle. This is a 5.56 pound. So our uh, rifle, so this is the standard edition rifle also for the whole Philippine Coast Guard. So what we have on board is that it is equipped to be sight, uh, laser sight, and then uh, red dot also. So, in addition to Zalo, the NPG, so what we have is, is uh, our laser is capable of having an IR or what we call the infrared uh, laser. So, when we, call the, when we say IR, uh, you cannot see it on your naked eye. You need to have at least an equipment that could uh, have or you can see the uh, display itself. So, with our NPG, you can see the IR. So, what is nice about this one is that it is also it has a foldable buttstock. So in case we need to be more compact, we can just hold it up. So we can be more uh, maneuver. We can maneuver more on a confined space or tight space. Then what we have is our Negev 7.62 LMG or the light machine gun. So our LMG is a bolt fed type. Gas operation. Uh, uh, it has a 200. Uh, capacity round, round that bed type of magazine for your ammunition. And it is equipped with a times 4 magnification scope. So, 50 caliber uh, Browning machine gun. So, so, that's the protect you barco in case that we are going to a uh, high risk area. In addition to this, it's a weapon system. And then, part of our um, system, or part of our in tip top shape, you know, uh, personal equipment here. Uh, 
quick quick explanation this one so basically this is the area of operation of the power vessel so mostly the global positioning system the Doppler speed lug and then the echo counter so what we have here this is the electronic chart display information system so and then this one is our the, radar so basically this is a just a radio waves sending of uh, radio wave signal so, so what we directly. have here for the steering system we have uh, three so yung non-follow up non-follow up we are using them basically the both rudders and then the hand steer so usually this, this is the one the wheel and then we have the two, system, two modes for our automatic or yung automated uh, system so properly called This is a sextant. So this is the uh, traditional what way. Is it? Sextant. So sextant. Uh, S E X T A N T. So basically, this is the manual uh, type of equipped navigational equipment. So I am co chair of the and junior grade general manager over there. So I am one of the tech officers of the double. Hmm. For this specific vessel, I've been with her since the, we made the first maiden voyage from Japan. So I'm part of the sailing group of this vessel. And right now, I am uh, more than one year on board this vessel. We are part, as an officer, we are part of the navigational uh, uh, team. So we are performing our duties also as the officer of the watch whenever we are underway.